Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. In case you're wondering how to ever get clean, this is the place to show you. It is the Museum of Clean here in Pocatello, Idaho. We're going to learn how to scrub, how to vacuum, and how to take a bath. We're going to get clean. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. And here we are in the Museum of Clean. Oh my. Old Dutch cleaners here have a little bit of the latest wonderful inventions to keep yourself clean. The world's first vacuum is right here. Here's the founder of the museum. Don says he just cleaned this for us, just for us to sit down. This place is immaculate. Look at this guy. That's art on display, used in everything that could be cleaned. Caution, wet floors, and there's a gypsy lint in there. What's she doing? She's looking out the peephole. Speaking about keeping clean, here's a woman's best friend, a mop hound. waste recycle right here you got your glass aluminum and plastic and the other trash Uncle Sam wants you to recycle Look at these germs. Adopt a highway and a habit. 135 pounds a month, Americans. Good, 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 good. 30 pounds of trash each week. I'm a pig. Four and a half pounds of trash each day. Oscar the Grouch. Right here is the world's first vacuum cleaner. 1860. This is the museum's holy grail. This is the first machine to use a vacuum as a method for cleaning carpets and was patented by Daniel Hess of West Union, Iowa, July 10, 1860. Please do not lift the jar. The last clean air in the world is here. Uh-oh. I just released the last clean air. No one comes to Pocatello unless lost on their way to Yellowstone or coming to the Museum of Clean. This is the first Electrolux vacuum in 1924.
Hmm. I've used one of them before. Banjo vacuum cleaner. Here's a sweet bird of vacuum, 1907. How they used to run. These are sweepers from the 1860s to 1915. Can you tell which are handheld vacuums? Are they right or left handed? Like for us, some forethought by manufacturers made most of them ambidextrous. That's right. Look, it's a clean chair. The Egan vacuum. Twin set of belts gives the machine a tremendous mechanical advantage. Suction is generated by a fan chamber at the center of the machine. What is it? It's a vacuum. Of course, it's Texas vacuum. It's bigger. Everything's bigger in Texas. The toilet man wants you to keep this classroom clean. Explosion proof vacuum used in nuclear or gas plants. Here's a Douglas cleaner, 1926. If you had one, you would know it. It's still here, suckers. Here's some other methods to keeping things clean. Look at this guy. orchestra of clean right here in front of us what do you think about this I'm playing tambourines with brushes oh he's just gonna make some clanging This thing is something else. That's Klingus Khan. Klingus Khan? Yeah. Look at these aliens or praying mantis people. Playing the vacuum flute. Do you remember ever playing with the vacuum flute or the brush? Not like flute? that. Well, this gentleman is playing with a harp. Not only is it any harp, it's a toilet seat harp. I was making tunes with the toilet seat harp earlier. Or well, here's Smiley Coyote. He's the inventor of the world's first steam carpet cleaning machine. It's right here. You missed a spot. You're gonna have to get that, okay? The Puffing Billy right here. Let's try me. Look at this. That thing is heavy. Woo. Home at last. The professional cleaner.
Here's the art gallery of Clean. What is this mummy? It's a moth mummy. Starry nights on a toilet seat cover. Very good. Some of the art that is used to represent clean. Very nice. Very nice. Ancient bronze Sturgill. Used to scrape dry and sweat from the body. Dirt and sweat. Little Lulu? He'll be happy to clean for you. Here's a Roman terracotta jugglet. Jericho 50 BC through 50 AD. People have been keeping clean for millennia. Darwin's theory of evolution runs amok here. That's the future of clean. These guys are keeping it clean. They're making sure they drive their horse all over to keep America clean again. This is telling me to try me. This is arm power clean. I can feel it. Foot power. This is push power. Pump power. Reminds me of something else. Squeeze power. Claw foot bathtub. That's what I'm going to do to mom and dad's when they're gone. I'm going to take it out and make it a couch. We can play a game of checkers here. In these garbage bins. Nice little tub there. Can't take him anywhere. getting turned on now. <laughs> I could. You didn't know he was going to do something. Go ahead, try it. Well, I'm glad you could experience a little bit of cleanliness today. I took a shower, thank you. <laughs> With two shower heads. <laughs> the National Brand Sanitary Supplies truck. Can you guess the ten items that do not belong in this janitor's truck? I see everything that belongs. Even the rubber chicken. There's little puns, jokes, and everywhere you look on these. This is a pretty cool place. It's, it's very clean. Very clean, isn't it? Can you guess what these are? What is this? 
dirt cleaner. For weeds. Yes, it is. I don't want to give it all away, so you're going to have to come down and guess what everything is. Gypsy Lynn wants to know what this one is right now. Hmm. Let me take a guess. Okay. I don't know. It's a mop ringer. You ever used one of them? No. <laughs> the theater is in there. I was just seeing if this was the gentleman who did the theater or did the museum and the theater. Supposedly he's here today. Maybe we'll meet him. All things clean. A little mirror there. All kinds of brushes, sweepers, hoses, vacuum suckers. I'll tell you what. A lot of people would say this place sucks, but I tell you what, this place is magnificent. Did you know? I did not know. Look what Eve had to wear compared to Adam. If you ever wanted to see the world's largest janitor, Big Dawn, well, look at the size of Dawn. Here he is, a muffler man inside the museum. Look how magnificent Dawn looks. He's ready to clean, and he has that face of determination right there. And can you guess what cleaning Big Dawn will be holding next? Hopefully a plunger. How true this is and how sad it is. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the largest landfill in the world. People just throw their trash in the ocean. It's where it goes to landfills out there. I'm using a plunger right now. I'm making sure I keep it clean. Keeping clothes clean. She remembers. She remembers. I grew up in a time where mom always did the laundry. So I never learned how to do laundry. Luckily for me, I have a wife who does my laundry. Thank God. There's Prince Albert in a can. Better let him out. And remember, Borax is king. Here's how hand laundering used to be done. You also gotta have a clean mouth. Unfortunately, I just had a root canal done because I didn't have a clean mouth. Actually, I let my one tooth go, so I wanted to get it fixed up. And look at this guy right here. Yeah, 
He's getting something done. He's getting some teeth work done. Look at all these toilets. What's this girl doing? Toilet fineries and fixtures. Adam to Obama. Here's a Texas sized toilet paper right there. Look at the size of that roll. Texas really is bigger down there, isn't it? Look at this little girl with that little maid outfit. She's carrying her toilet paper. Seat covers. There is a little bit of everything in here. In case you need to sit down, right there's a seat. What I like is strange things that make a clean world. Let's see some of the strangest things there are here. Rubber deflectors, vacuum mags, a little bit of this twinkle silver polish kit. Golf club cleaning kits. And this man here, that's a sweeping butler. King Duke of Earl had a marble granite one holer. Be like this one. Railroad commodes. Oriental toilets. I'd probably break that. Elizabeth of Bavaria. Hmm. There's a chamber pot I've been talking about. Diaper pill. This guy's hands caught. Ugh. His hero. He really enjoyed keeping everything clean. Got all these arts everywhere. Psychiatrist cleaner couch. Tell me your problems, little boy. <laughs> I know my problem. I gotta go poop. There's where Daddy Bear is. And Mommy Bear. And baby bear. And this other bear. He's not part of this family. He's another bear family. He's just staying the night. traditional outhouses in Idaho. Be careful. They got mice here. This I got some reading material. That's a two for one. That's where me and Gypsy Lynn's gonna go here in a few minutes. Right there is how I'll end up. Trying to get something out. I hope you don't get anything out of there. <laughs> If you drop something. <laughs> well, we went to the basement and we're in a laundry mat now. However, custom ball conditioner right there. Here's some foot cleaning things that you would use. For boots, shoes. I like to get my shoes shined. Here's a Texas size shoehorn. Here's a Texas squeegee, right there.
I'm going to do a quick glance of all the buffers. Pressing needs. This window is getting clean now. Here's some carpet tools from back in the day. I mean, if you wanted anything about keeping anything clean, this place has the entire history. Darn dust. It just gets all over and you gotta have your little dust mops and feather dusters. Different dust pans throughout the years. Even the military has their cleaning supplies. Hello, Mad No Matter. I keep it clean down there. I say you do, baby. You're using this as a mop. I'll mop you up, big boy. Even Willie Nelson is used as a dust, dust mop. He's on the road again. I'm not the cowardly lion. I'm just here. I like this. I'm a varsity doggy. And over here we have a Texas sized dust mop. Little mailbox used in mops. Look at all these brooms. You gotta sweep it. I'm just doing a little sweep around this area. Here's the Sandman. He's known best as the mythical fellow that visits children at bedtime to sprinkle sand in their eyes to put them to sleep. This is not a fairy tale, it's real. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I always wondered why he had an earring. Here's Don Aslett. And Arlo Luke. Right here is the old Dutch cleaner, cleanser, old Dutch cleanser. Even John Wayne knows how to clean. Elvis wasn't beyond cleaning himself. Look at that. Gold, gold, and gold. Hey, baby. Uh, thank you very much. I gotta keep everything clean around here. And James Bond has to keep it clean. My name is Bond, double O clean. An original 1915 boiler converted into an old English chimney suite rooftop. What's this, Mary Poppins? Well, he's seen better days. Oh, there she is. I didn't know where she was. There's Mr. Clean. Mrs. Clean. That's what you look like at home? I'm bald. Oh, bald. <laughs> Brendan the Gent, just remember, John Wayne knows how to carry a broom, and he cleans. And he says, sweep it up, pilgrim. Sweep it up tight. I made a new friend today. I made a new friend today. Mr. Clean's kid. He, he don't talk too much, but he sure is clean. And he got his looks from his daddy. Look, look how bald he is. That's Mr. Clean's kid. What do you think about that? Come on, you're wearing too much white. But that shows you how clean you are. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> he looks kind of evilish grin right there. 
rub no more softens hard water that's what mom used to do to me when I was a little baby she used to use her trunk and clean me off the original play-doh modeling compound it was originally wallpaper cleaner you gotta be kidding me that's what we played with I, I, see what they get kids to play with to teach them it's subliminal that is well I'll be that is educational yeah we learned something and don't forget today's sponge natural and synthetic and most kids know today's sponge is SpongeBob SquarePants in case you need some beaver still wool they have you covered That's a Texas size fly swatter right there. And in case you got zits, this dry zit. Maybe not necessary zits, but that's what it stops. Odors and flies. It's not zits, it's <laughs> this is Varsity's first pro buffer, May of 1957. We've done the first floor, the basement, now we are on the second floor. Look at all these rods. Made out of cleaning tools and... Wheelbarrows, had to think of whatever it was called for a second. I'm, I got other cleaning devices on my mind here. I got a little bit of everything. This is Johann Schlappenhaus's pipe organ. He grew up in Austria, the son of a poor and highly untidy cat bag maker. He just wanted to play a piano and make some nice music. That's me! Let's do, do, do it with Darth Darth Vader over there. This place even has a dedicated place for where kids can play. I would have loved to go in that space capsule when I was a kid. And Curious George is looking over everything. The only things that can fly out are the tissues that catch it off. I guess you can never get rid of germs, but you can outsmart them by washing your hands. Even you can discard it very well. Final effects. How can this weight that you can tell getting bigger, bigger, stronger? All together, all the back. Uh oh, strike one. Oh, yeah, they're different size holes. Come on, put it in the hole. You got it first try the last time. No cheating. To me, this is just like dog hunting and stuff. What we want to do. Put it in the little hole. <laughs> you swing like a girl. Yeah, oh, well. Design out cleaning. Make your house do the housework. Here's Don Aslett's personal cleaning collection. His ties. His typewriter. The myth, the man, the legend is right there. How he swept his way to the top book. 
I'm going to attempt to do this ring toss. Yeah, baby. Oh, I got something else there. Oh, I struck out the third time. Gypsy Lynn's gonna do the vacuum ring toss. Oh my goodness. She's just... Oh my goodness. She'll do this all day now. Like every good museum, they have some interaction. And this is no exception. Right here, we're gonna be playing potty toss. Potty toss. We're like basketball here, but with sponges and lubes. Okay. So she has to make baskets right here. Okay, well. Look at that. She's white. Steph Curry has nothing on Gypsy Lynn. Now you're shooting like the Lakers did last season. Oh, that's Kobe shot. I'll show you Kobe. Look at that. Just, <laughs> yay, the crowd goes wild. Like Gypsy Lynn, I was a hoop shoot winner, multiple winner, 10 years in a row. Oh, let's bull see. crap. <laughs> let's see what, you know, I don't do anything that I shouldn't do. That one almost went over the wall. Okay. So I don't have that school anymore. However, I can't get you in the. Toilet seats at the same time. There you go. We'll do it in the rainy style. You missed both of them? You missed. You know what, where I come from. You missed. I made it. I can't see that one. I mean, bar, I can on here, but. I watched Screwing Up with the Bar. He always did it with this guy. You missed. They're actually stuck in the pipes. <laughs> That's the only way you do it. <laughs> now look, he's got to pick up all of his mess. Because he made a mess. Did he even miss me? <laughs> oh, you gotta get it first. Gypsy, let's try again. These things do not go straight. Aww. Well, that's what I call a rim job. Here is some clean humor. She's mad. Well, this is interesting. Here's to the Museum of Clean, who taught us the value of being clean. So now we only have half of the body lice that we used to have. Everybody could use a house cleaning party like this. Dawn Aslett says, who says it's a woman's job to clean? Available in the gift store. Darth Vader has had a mop. Luke, I am your mopper. What's she, what'd she get into here? One rag at a time. Alright, she's going to do the fast vacuum. She's turning it on. That was so fast, do it again. Now that thing sucks. Put my back and suck like that. Hey, you remember my old troll video? That was some of the stuff used. These are children's cleaning toys. They should learn at a young age how to clean. I actually have those. 
I had the Barbie toilet. <laughs> Got a peeping Tom right there. Walt Disney's Goofy. The Big Wash. If you think you saw a lot of vacuums before, wait till you see the third floor in this museum. Vacuums everywhere. So, you may think this place sucks, and literally, it does. Some of these I remember my grandmother using. It was almost like this one right here. I even thought that was a great robot back in the day when I was a kid. I used to get on top of this and I would use my feet. And then I would vacuum. That's how I learned how to vacuum. All these vacuums. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. Vacuums here, vacuums there, vacuums everywhere. He remembers. Here's one of the first walk behind models inspired by locomotive action to create suction. Christmas time is the perfect time to give your loved one a vacuum cleaner. This tree is decorated in Christmas ornaments. Look at these. Even has the potty on top. This is like super old. Because it says it right here. <laughs> well, this is an interesting one. Look at that vacuum cleaner. The space race. Again, do yourself a favor and keep yourself clean, recycle, and get yourself a vacuum. Start today. Start yesterday. However you do it, just start. Santa's learned a thing or two. Surprise! Not what we want for Christmas. That's what you're getting for Christmas. Look at all these tornadoes. Mom had one like that. She also had one like this too. Mm -hmm. too. But she never had one like this. Well, I hope not. Those are old. Dad always told me to get a Cadillac. Well, I could have got one of these. Well, we got something else to do in this museum. We gotta go through Noah's Ark. Let's see what this is. There's all kinds of snakes around here. Be careful. This is a nice little children's playhouse. Looks like, but we're gonna go up these steps. And two of each are waiting for us, just like Noah's Ark. You got two gerbils, two foxes, two bison, two moose, two walrus, two whatever these are, two coons, two iguanas, two hedgehogs, two skunks, two peacocks, two horses, aw, two kermits. I don't think Miss Piggy's gonna like that. <laughs> You could. Two zebras and 
one zebra is going to make sure there's another zebra coming. Two elephants, two pigs, two pandas, two everything. As you enter in, this nice man greeted us. And you also have a kid plant right there. And you got some knights in shining armor and the ark. Thank you very much for being enthusiastic. You have been great. Very nice. Gypsy Lynn notices the small things in life. This one has boobies. That's a male. That's a female. That's a female.